Giddy Grossman. <laughs> yeah. Last time we did something together was uh, we did a video <laughs> a few years ago. Uh, we were both into cooking and uh, I guess we've both been into the Ayurveda world in, from a different angle, but all come into this oneness. Um, I love the, the work that you do with Marma Coin and your knowledge on Ayurveda, your wisdom. Um, and yeah, Katie is an incredible holistic coach. Um, she's definitely been a go-to person whenever my health is compromised, body, mind, spirit. And it's always good um, to have a, you know, a mentor or someone in your life that practice similar to you to remind you, you know, even though, you know, we both studied, um, you know, for many years, we both practiced in Ayurveda, which, you know, we, I would say that I took it into modern day and understand that, you know, the, the whole philosophy behind Ayurveda is really very much tantric. It's about including everything. Um, one of my favorite thing is that when I went to Dr. Lott and started studying with him, he, I said to him, but you know, I drink coffee. <laughs> And he said, what's the problem with it? <laughs> Just put a little bit of cardamom in it uh, and a little bit fat in it. So it breaks the acidity. So all those little tips, um, me and Katie feels like, oh, we need to put this stuff like, you know, public so people can have this free information and to help you use the information on your daily basis on, um, on a practice on a daily basis. So this is um, part of your life. So yoga, it's not just going on a mat. Yoga is you, you become yoga, you become this connection, the yoking of the body, the mind, spirit. Um, and today we wanted to talk about OC face oil, the glow. I'm so proud of it. <laughs> and um, yeah, I, I wanted to, if you can help our audience, um, to uh, talk about the marma point of the face and how we can use the oil in a most efficient way to get the stimulation and the blood flow. Um, I just rubbed my whole body. You can see how sticky I am <laughs> in my hair and my face. <laughs> you know, that's what keeps us young because the skin is our biggest organ. And as me and Katie talked a few minutes ago, how the, um, you know, you wouldn't put anything in your body that you wouldn't eat. So everything in this ingredients and, you know, the lavender, um, neem, uh, neroli, we have bakuchi, we have uh, turmeric, which all wonderful for inflammation, stimulation. It's basically, I put this 11 essential oils and a few herbs in it because I wanted everything in one ounce to just, you know, take a few drops every day and rub my face, mark my hand and just put it all over the face. So, and I do it on cold. I actually wash my face with cold water to close the pores and then I do it. And then if I go outside right now, we'll put, you know, sunscreen or foundation just, you know, because this is still oil and um, yeah. So Katie Grossman, and she has a wonderful website. You're going to tell us about where people can um, find out about you afterwards. And uh, yeah, and let's share some information. And I will add some more as we go. Sounds good. Thank you so much for having me. Um, I am obsessed with all of your oils, but your face oil, the smell is like... <laughs> It's next level. It's just like when I need to pause and just recenter just those essential oils and that combination, it's just such a perfect balance. And um, the aromatherapy kind of aspect of it, as well as the medicinal aspect of using that on my skin, even on just on my hands too. Like I also, I kind of just mix it all around. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Um, and yes, like I, I am so sensitive to what I put on my body because, you know, our skin absorbs everything. Like you were saying, like we've talked about. And so to know that you can, you know, put this on your skin and feel good about what you're absorbing is so important, especially with skincare and beauty. Like there's so many products that we don't know what's in it. 
there's like chemicals in it. There's all kinds of stuff, which doesn't just impact our skin, but impacts our entire system because our bodies are really just a filter for everything that we come in touch with. And that's kind of how I think about Ayurveda, right? Ayurveda is our relationship to nature. And it's, and it is how we filter our environment because that is how we relate to nature, right? Like we are constantly filtering everything that's around us and that's going through all of our organs and all of our systems. And so putting nourishing things into our body and onto our body and, and around us through all of our different senses, right? Through our touch, through smell, through sight, all of these things, um, it makes us who we are and it contributes to our longevity in our life and how we move through our life. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm such a fan of good nourishing oils for the body and you know, the face, which is, you know, has all of our senses here, right? Like a lot of our senses here, being able to apply the acupressure points, like you were talking about marma points to open up and stimulate those points with herbs and oils is such a beautiful practice. It's such a beautiful way to incorporate self-care into our beauty practice and a little background on acupressure or marma. Um, marma means many things like most Sanskrit words, they have many meanings. And the meaning that I was, uh, always resonating with was secret. All these little pressure points are the secrets. They're these little portals into our nervous system, into our bodies, um, that hold wisdom and information and knowledge. Um, and so there are ways to kind of access our nervous system and access our, inner world. And, um, by stimulating these specific pressure points that we have all over our bodies, um, we can bring circulation to certain areas, especially, I mean, that's one of my favorite things about acupressure. It's like a passive way to bring circulation and circulation helps with blood flow. It helps with, um, you know, just the rejuvenation of, of our body and its processes. It helps to, to um, kind of support the body's natural detoxification process um, by stimulating any pressure points. You are applying pressure similar like to reflexology where each of these points not only relates to the area that it's around, um, but it also can correspond to different organs and systems throughout the whole body. So there's pressure points on the face that connect to every other organ and system in the body. And so it's a way to kind of um, make your body aware of itself and make your mind aware of, of your body. Mm. So it's such a grounding, beautiful practice to do, to help you to stay in the present, to be in the now and, um, to connect with your body and to yourself. Right. Totally. I, I remember when I got uh, a treatment by you, uh, years ago, <laughs> it was the first experience with Marmapoint. And for me, the experience was very much almost like my spirit was like shh, back to my body. So you know how we are, we get Vata with our energy and creativity and, and I want to do this and I want to do that and I'm multitasking. But when you get Marma treatment, you feel that your whole being is inside your body in one place and it's connected. So this wholeness, feeling of wholeness is what we both practice in and mm -hmm. teaching right to 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 come into a place that it's sattvic that it's more balanced as we say in ayurveda yes yeah I'm, i have the best memories of you know introducing this you know these practices to you and also just like the exchange always of like what you were learning what i was learning and the beauty of bringing that all together ayurveda is so vast and there's so many components and shoot offs of it and it marries so beautifully with like the yogic system and it's just, yeah, connecting with you is always just like the best because there's so much synergy and um, yeah. And, and my love for Marma just, you know, was really born out of just my own curiosity about my body and how I could become more whole. Like, I think that's why I think both of us have gotten on, you know, taking the paths you've taken is to like feel that wholeness, feel that centeredness and to connect with ourselves, our higher selves, with spirit, with nature. Um, and you know, my whole thing with self-care is like microdose your self-care. Like you don't have to take an hour, an hour, two hours in the morning to like do your self-care. Like you can do it throughout the day. 
it can be little moments of caring for yourself that builds up over time because that's how I think of Ayurveda, right? It's like your lifestyle. It's not about a strict practice that takes over your life that you do once a week or once a month. It's something, it's little moments. And integrate. That, yeah, it's little moments that build up to a healthy lifestyle that is maintainable and sustainable that helps you live a nice, happy, long, integrated life. And so the great, you know, there's so many pressure points and you could sit for hours, you know, simulating all these points, or you can just choose one. And you're like, this is that point that I just resonate with today. And I'm going to just really intentionally use this as a way to either stimulate circulation and blood flow in that area to, um, kind of balance emotional aspects that are related to the different organs and systems. You can use it to, as a preventative tool, like if it's flu season, you can press the lung points and the immune points and points to kind of help keep your nervous system strong in the face of potential illness or viruses. Um, and you can also use it, like if you had an injury, say you or even like had a headache, you can use certain pressure points on like locationally to help stimulate those points yeah in here even up into the scalp a bit um you know the sinuses depending if you have a sinus headache there's points all around all along the neck and so when something's painful you can use it um and like i said something that correlates to another part of the body so you know one point on my face that i actually press pretty often which is um, a strange point, I guess, to teach, but it's one of my favorites. If I'm feeling like I'm having trouble going to the bathroom or constipated, one of the pressure points that I press is right in the center of the chin. Yeah. And this is the, um, it's basically like the rectum. Yeah. Right in the, right in the crux. And you kind of almost press down on it. Uh -huh. And when you feel around, you feel it. Incredible that we can work the body from all these different, yeah through, all yeah. these different places so like there's so many ways to use marmo which is part of what i love about it you know? yeah i mean this point i think of the thinking right it gets like you know this stress. oh yeah i mean and right there's like the beauty component to it as well like by pressing these points and bringing circulation and stimulating the face to produce you know um, yeah, reducing inflammation. And yeah, these, all these frown points, you know, these are very close to like a lot of the points that are connected to the pituitary and pineal gland to the hormonal system, right? So, and the sinuses, right? You have all the sinus points that go all along the bridge of the eye and you can kind of feel like in the bones, they indent a little bit. If you press in on the ridge of the eye, you know, in here, it's a good point when you're having a headache, as most people know, that's pretty common knowledge. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, all under the eye as well, all of these, like it in the really room. important, but you, you go on the bone, right? You just, yeah, you go on the bone and you can feel these little indents and that's where the little marma point, the marma points are secret. They, they don't want to be touched necessarily. They are protect, they are protected and they're a lot of them reside on and in and around bones. Um, because marma is also, it's a healing modality, but it's also a martial science. So these pressure points, if you strike them in a very martial capacity, there's a whole system in science around the kill science, right? Then you can trap air into those points and create neurological issues. You know, it can be very, be used as a self-defense. So we're obviously not doing that, but, but the points. No, it's, but the points <laughs> every are, morning I have a knife right here, shot. Right here. <laughs> but don't yeah, use but, it, but it's there. These, these points are so vital. And, and of course, when you're pressing and stimulating around the face, it's going to, you know, you're right near the brain. So you're, you're going to be able to produce more circulation around the brain, which is bringing more blood flow to our face and to our brain, which is what around, around the mouth. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's so many, I mean, a lot of these are like the reproductive, the reproductive points are down here. The, um, this is the rectum, which are, you know, the colon, like this digestive and this, so this is something like if I'm in, if I'm going to the bathroom or I'm having a trouble going to the bathroom, I'll just sit and kind of hold this point and I'll sometimes feel after about 20 seconds or so that kind of, okay, I can go to the bathroom because it will stimulate 
that part of my body, which is so cool. Um, mm -hmm. There's some really interesting points right, right under the nose. Yeah. In here, this is like. Show it closer. So if you, it's right in here and it's kind of on an upward angle. It's a very powerful point. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, if you kind of get it from underneath, you want to be careful you know you don't want to like go too crazy but when you press this point it, it's like the wake up point it can stimulate the whole system to kind of reboot and wake up and um so it's good for like energy in the morning right like when we're waking up and if you're massaging your face and putting your oil on in the morning you can yeah. i do it also around um, the eyes yeah around the eyes every single point every single organ point is around the eyes yeah it, and you've got also all the jaw points, right? Just releasing the jaw, you know, our jaws and our hips. That's create are... trace in the face. So you would do all this yeah, line all along these. Yeah, yeah, right here. And especially like up and around the ears. Like this is also good, again, for like your sight, for smell, for hearing. Yeah. Like when you massage around the location of the area, you're bringing circulation also to your ears, to your eyes, to your nose and your mouth. So... Mm -hmm too i like to work on yeah all there's there's, 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 there's groups of the neck too yeah there's pressure points all along the front lines the side the back and there's different ways that you can you know access these points but you can start when you start to press in you start to feel where these little indents are mm -hmm. kind of along the side of these here and I like to use my hands this way. Mm, this way, the heel of the hand. Yeah, because the heel of the hand, you don't need to use your fingers all the time. So you can massage down the neck this way. Getting as well, you get the ears. There's all, the whole body is on the ears, right? Like we know in Chinese medicine. Yes, all, so like massaging all the ears and inside the ears, inside the nose you know, getting inside all these areas and oilating them. Um, so what I, love about, uh, what I love about Ayurveda, you know, what I love about the whole system that we're working with is like the, the face shows everything. So, you know, if something going on with internal, with your organs or emotionally, you, you'll see it in the face, you know, it's, and, you know, I love after I practice like two hours or like restorative practice or full, full on, full on yoga practice. Um, I look at my face afterwards and I'm like, oh my God, the glow, right? Mm -hmm. Like, so it's also an internal job, right? And then you have the product, the oils to put on your body and your skin and then do the pressure points. So you're actually working, you really, you, you're really using fully all the knowledge that we have, you know, on, on our body, which is incredible. What I, you know, I was, I was always told like acupressure is like, it's a form of yoga, right? Because in yoga, we cut off the circulation when we're in a specific posture, right? Well, like, like in a bundle, yeah. like we're in, a, yeah, like if, you, and you, so you're closing those, you're closing off the flow of the blood so that when you open up after the posture, the blood flows more and it brings more circulation to specific areas. It's the same with acupressure right? When you hold the point down, you're stopping the flow of the blood and you're letting it build so that it flushes after, right? So this is a very detoxifying practice as well. And, you know, and they mirror each other, right? Mm -hmm. It's like they're sisters mm -hmm. too. So right. oh, shoulder yeah. stand or handstand too. We'll, we'll yeah. do that as well. Like, do I mean, all of every yoga posture, you're cutting off some circulation, whether it's no matter what you're doing. Right. And it's because that's making the blood flow to the area that you're binding, whenever you're binding or you're doing anything. Yeah. It's and amazing. Amazing. The way I look at Marma, um, is, uh, I look at it like the Bija, the seed, mm. like that point where the seed is just like, you know, is like about to burst. And then the Marma is like really helping open up the seed of manifestation right we talk about the bija like every every point have you know a, 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 an immediate target into an area so yes we are looking beautiful in the face but we're also working on our on our organs like the kidney to flush the water right the blood out of the kidney to create a twist 
So we create that, like you said, that resistance, and then the opening is a new fresh blood come in. And that's how, you know, we keep young and vibrant and healthy. Yes. So, yeah. So you give us like today, this point, yeah, we this have point. this point, we talk about the here and then the lymph system will be all around here. On here. And also like particularly on, I mean, it's hard to kind of see, but this whole line kind of under the collarbone, yeah, on both sides, there's pressure points all along here that, um, you know, into the thymus and um, kind of correlate into the lymph like majorly into the lymphatic system and the immune, you know, and support the immune system and our lungs, right? And lungs, like in our system, in, in a lot of systems with acupuncture and acupressure, many different systems, there's different emotions that are also correlated, right? So for example, the lungs can be connected to joy and grief. So, you know, when we want to massage these points, we can bring balance to those emotions as well, which is one of my favorite ways of using acupressure. You know, I think, I love how you described the beat, how each marma feels like a seed, like the bija, because I think of it as like pressing your points is like tuning your guitar, right? It's like tuning, retuning an instrument if our body's the instrument. When we press these pressure points and you hold the point, you know, you can hold it as long as you like. You can hold it at least for like, you know, three or four or five breaths, like inhales and exhales at, at least. Like you can hold it for longer if you like. But when you hold these points, it allows for any blockages or disharmony or dissonance to be restored into resonance. So your whole system, like an instrument, becomes more resonant. It gets tuned up. And so there is that sound kind of component to it as well, right? There is um, there's a vibrational component, an energetic component, a physical component. And that's what I love about it. It's such a multidimensional <laughs> thing. It's so, it's so amazing. And it's so yeah. vast. I mean, wait till we talk about the body oil and doing up the young guy. <laughs> that's what I just did. Like warm, warm oil and just do it from the periphery and up. I mean, all this stimulation and all this movement, it's like, you know, you flush the toxic you just remove the inflammation. That's one of the reasons I put turmeric in my face oil because I was like, we women, we get, in, we get inflammation. This environment is like inflaming. <laughs> Conversation wow. and thoughts are, can be inflaming and vata in, invoking. So, which is the air, which is over, right? It's just all of that energy, energies of the pitta, of the fire, the air, the water, they have to be balanced in order for us to be, you know, um, to feel balanced. And when we balance, you can see it on your body, on your face. Yeah. yeah. And like, you know, there's a component of when we're under pressure, you can see it, right? It's like, you can see the stress from being under pressure. So by applying pressure, you can release that pressure, right? Like after a treatment, you look open, right? After a yoga class, you feel and you look open. It's because you've released, you've used pressure to release pressure. And that's what makes a star shine and a diamond shine, you know, like, and everything shines, like stars go under pressure, right? It's the compression that makes you shine and push outwards. And it, that's, you know, in the tradition I learned was a warrior tradition. And that's how you would preventatively use these systems to strengthen you and strengthen your nervous system by putting yourself under pressure knowingly you could train your nervous system nervous system how to expand and open up and withstand immense amounts of pressure so that when you went into battle or you went into a situation you were really strong and then you would use it you know post battle like to basically you know heal and open up anything that got tight or got traumatized or injured to open up the circulation to reduce the inflammation to kind of deal with the stress and the inflammation that we have from being in a stressed environment okay. and so it's such a you know it's such a beautiful like holistic system and yeah it's incredible the the whole philosophy of uh, the warriors and their the how we link in it to the nervous system and you know i remember getting you know oh, oh and i just home kind of like watching a film sometimes i press these points right the digestive and you know just play with it and i and i press pretty pretty strong That's pretty hard yeah Oh yeah, I have good <laughs> pressure. And 
And that, just this, just holding this point, that intensity, it's like, you got to breathe through it. It's intense. It's like taking for me the like equivalent to that is being with like 50 degrees water, 56 degrees water and being there for three minutes. Like try that. <laughs> like, right. So that intensity of the nervous system have to really hold that. And then when you get out, you feel that energy. Like it's almost for me is the fear, hmm. the fear that it's like underneath everything is just like dissipate. 100%. And that's and that's when it looks, you can see it in the face. Like, you yeah. know, that's why, that's why, you know, when I created this oil and I put all these herbs, I put especially sandalwood because for me, sandalwood reminds me of India, reminds me of, you know, like Mother Earth, remind me of the, you know, the guru that is within. Mm -hmm. So when I put it during the day and I smell it, I'm like, oh, okay, go back home, mm -hmm. go back home. And you know, beside the fact that so many benefits, right? To send the wood and neroli yeah. and, and neem. We just talked about neem, just like yeah. antifungal and oh my gosh, all this. detox. It's such an it's like such a master blood detoxifier. It supports the liver. It supports so many all the organs and systems yeah. in such a beautiful way. Yeah, and that's why I was like, I'm gonna put everything in one oil. And truly, everything was really done in initially for me because when I got Pancha Karma uh, back in 2000 and I think six with Dr. Lad, and for 10 days, like having those body oils warm all over and getting the treatment, and then eating Kichiri diet for like 10 days, the shift that was created was so enormous that I was like, well, not every person can afford this, right? It took me, I had to save money to get to, to get those treatment. They're really expensive and flying there and then coming back home, just a flight, you know, um, it's just too vata afterwards. So I was like, this needs to be done at home. And here it is, the COVID, we all home. I was like, yeah, I have this practice that I cultivated. So when you have to be home stuck, you know, you can do your nails, <laughs> you can do your hair, you can put the body oil, you can do marma points. Yeah. So that's our mission for me and Katie is really to teach you guys. We have a mission to teach you to have self-care practices at home. I'm going to share tons of information and it's all going to be recorded. And our hope is that in 2022, 2023, we're going to have, um, now, Katie Grossman going to co-teach with me a teacher training, and we're going to choose 12 women that are ready to do a training with Ayurveda and Kundalini and yoga and to become, um, you know, with a yoga alliance, a yoga teacher. And also we have an ability to have uh, continue education if you want to go for the 500. So I think it's like the yoga teacher training needs to be more like the way they used to be in the old days, like, you know, uh, um, you know, household keepers where the scholars will go home and cook at home and practice at home and use all this practice at home, bring it home. So that was what they all, this is, everything was a home system, right? all over the world, not just in India and these amazing sciences that emerge from India, but like every culture all over the world had a folk medicine, a medicine, like a home remedy system. And uh, through these very well-preserved Indian practices, we can also, you know, explore our own ancestral practices as well and how we want to bring that to the table and, um, and connect, you know, and connect to what's in us, right? All this wisdom is within us. I remember the first time I pressed these points, I was like, I know these points. I've pressed these points before. Like they feel familiar. And I think there's, you know, even when you go into certain positions or you're like, oh yeah, like this feels like home, right? This feels familiar. And I think, um, you know, using that as, as a tool and a way to get interested also in our own, you know, cultures and, and the systems from those, you know, all the little home remedies from your great grandmother and, you know, all these things, it's like health in your hands. It's putting preventative health in your hands. It's giving you remedies and things that you can use at home so that you can take care of yourself and your family and, and feel like you said, like have your spa at home. I'm like, you shouldn't have to go anywhere. I'm like, put on that hot bath, some good salt, <laughs> some oil, some good music. Like we have so much available to us to be able to heal ourselves. And 
and to give this information to people that want to heal themselves you know it's like we need community and we need to like you know have conversation and have space with each other and also empower ourselves to you know be like okay this is my life and I can I can take care of myself you know what a it's so empowering to know that you can take care of yourself and you know, I've been traveling a lot. I'm in Costa Rica right now talking about indigenous people and the shaman and the culture here is like, so wow. Like the earth, the mama, right? Pachamama. Mm -hmm. It's incredible, the medicine and, you know, and been traveling and I can see how the, you know, the, the, I get ungrounded, right? When I travel and we were talking last week and you're like, this is it. I'm giving you a medicine five days. You just cook and rest you're doing nothing <laughs> yeah right <laughs> someone like me was so hard but i tell you what by the third day of doing like kishoria literally it's the simplest thing to do i did kishoria both lentils and you know some spices like ginger and fresh turmeric in the market here and made myself a really nice uh local vegetables that they had and cooked it and the warm food and the oils and resting and getting a new pillow because I couldn't sleep. <laughs> like all those little things of like taking care of yourself and coming back home was like, okay, I can be in another place, left New York, took me time to adapt, but I'm like, okay, by the fifth day, I felt like I'm better. And it's such a victory, right? That you can have control over your life, yeah. but not in a sense of controlling, in a sense that I can take care of myself. And, and, and developing practices that, that you can take anywhere you go. Cause I also have traveled a lot and I move around a lot and having a routine within all that movement, which can sometimes feel chaotic helps to stay grounded and help and like getting the food and the bacteria of where you are around you connecting to earth. And that way is such a grounding thing to do when you first get to a new place. And what I love about like your oils and all the herbs and the, you know, you know, aspect, you have basically beautiful vibration of earth in these bottles that you can take with you to connect with earth everywhere you are. And that's really how we create our own medicine, right? That's how we evolve and take the things that we can learn from these amazing traditions from all over the world and kind of put them through us and create our practice yes. and our way of doing things and our, our own medicine. And like your oils provide a, an opportunity and a tool to connect with nature, you know, because you're putting nature on your body and you're absorbing the energy of these plants that are grown here, right? And the energy of all those things, you know, becomes a part of us. And so having that, like, like I had your face oil for so many years, everywhere I moved, that always comes with me. Like that oil is always in my bag. Like when I'm out and about, when I'm at home, like I take it everywhere because that those scents, you know, the sound of particularly, like you said, it just brings you into yourself. And so, you know, having consistency where we can, as we are in movement and motion, it's so important. And so it's another beautiful aspect of, of the face oil and being able, and like, that's why I love acupressure because all you need are your hands and you can do it anywhere, you know? So. It's wow. Katie, that was so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having uh, me. Where to come? Thank you so much. Oh my God. So where, if anybody needs to reach you and find you and follow you, where can they do that? So on Instagram, I'm at brain, belly, body and just as you would think they were spelled um and my um my website is also www.brainbellybody.com and my email address is on both of those just brain belly body you have an off you have an offering right now uh that you have a 30 days and i'm actually doing it right now and i love it and i just uh, in the part of the nervous system and the circulation i did both freaking love it <laughs> so yeah, and it's a really good uh, program. It's really inexpensive and you can also have one-on-one -on -one with Katie and you can find me on ocleaving.com and we're going to have more of those. And if you are into a teacher training, even if you've done already teacher training and you want to do continue education, uh, we're going to have between two and three weeks of a program. Uh, we're working on a place in Costa Rica and we hope to join us. So we have more information. 
Thank you so much, Katie. <laughs> oh my God. What, what an amazing, what an amazing, amazing time and having you here. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure, an honor and a pleasure. And yeah, I'm so grateful. Thank you. To be continued. <laughs> <laughs>